Okay, in the following example, the position of a weight is attached to a spring and it's modeled by the function s of t equal negative 3 cosine of 5 pi t inches after t seconds. The question says, when does this weight first reach its maximum height? Well, let's think about that for a second. What is its maximal height? Well, the maximal height here when you're pulling this string, or the spring rather, is, uh, let's see, 3 inches. Okay, and that we know because of the amplitude of the graph here, of amplitude of the equation. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to jot that down. And this one is interesting. It's modeled by cosine. So let's see, negative 3 cosine 5 pi t. Now, in this case, the 3 represents the amplitude. The minus 3 just means that it's pulled down. It's pulled down in, in a downward direction, a downward force, and that's why it's negative in this case. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to write down some information, but ultimately I think the best way to approach this problem is to graph it. So let's see here. If the amplitude is 3 units, the period can be found by saying, well, 2 pi over k, and this is our k value. So we're going to say, well, the period is going to be 2 pi over, and in this case, 5 pi. That gets rid of the pi's there for us, and we're left with two fifths, a period of two fifths. Okay, so two fifths of a second is where it completes one oscillation of this graph. All right, now let's go ahead and I'm just going to sketch this graph here, and it's going to be between negative three and three units. Okay, that's represented by the height. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just put in the four tick marks that go in here. Now, each of the tick marks is equally spaced, so we're going to take the period and we're going to divide it by four. So let's see what that looks like. Two-fifths multiplied by one-fourth, because this is the same as dividing by four. So when we do this, we are going to get this reduced. 1 over 2, so each tick mark will actually be 1 tenth of a unit. So this is 1 tenth, this is 2 tenths, which is 1 fifth, uh, this is 3 tenths, and then 4 tenths, which is 2 fifths, and this is where it would actually complete one period of the graph. So this again being a cosine, well, cosine always starts at basically the amplitude, but in this case, since it's negative, it's going to start right down here. So I'm going to use a different colored pen here, and I'm going to plot those points. So it follows the same pattern as the, as the regular parent function cosine. So at one-tenth, it'll hit zero. At one-fifth time, it will reach its amplitude there. Three-tenths come back down to zero, and two-fifths come back down to negative three. So the graph will look something like this. something like this, and we see here that the maximal height that it reaches is right here where we have three inches. And how long did that take? Well, it actually took one-fifth of a second. So this is the maximal height, and how long did it take? One-fifth of a second. Okay. So this right here answers our question, and it's really easy to see after we inspect the graph. And, and it's nice to have this pictorial uh, depiction of it because um, we can make out that, okay, obviously this is the maximum point for this graph. So how long did it take? It took one-fifth of a second. So pretty easy uh, to understand, I think, and, and hopefully it's easy for you to figure it out. But if not, just you know rewind the video and watch it over again. But the uh, most important concept here is understanding how to modify the period and how to pick out what the amplitude is. All right, so good luck.